Goodbye, old friend. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. That's what I call an escape. We're not alone. Sensors detect another vessel. Scorpios. Is it following us? It's leaving. Before you go any farther, observe. What was that? There's a massive energy shield surrounding Iokath. Nothing can pass through it. Ares controls the shield. Doesn't matter. I'm not leaving until you, Ares, and Valen are dead. How convenient we are all in this together. Your struggles provide invaluable design feedback, but they do not change my decision. You are not worthy of inheriting Iokath. Soon, you will die. You've lost control, and we're coming for you. The odds are against you. My creators were flawed beings, but they left a great legacy at my disposal. The weapon I used to incapacitate you is re-energizing. The energy wave that knocked us unconscious. We have no defense against it. When it fires this time, you will not wake up. If you could kill us with that technology, you would have done it by now. The energy required to fuel the weapon takes time to harness. I began the process when Valen escaped her cell. If you have any affection for your remaining companions, I recommend using these final... I have identified a design flaw in Ares. He talks too much and has revealed his location. We no longer require his input. She's transmitting coordinates. You will find Ares there, along with his weapon and the energy shield controls. What about you? I'm sure you'd like to see Ares destroyed. You know me too well. It's hmm. one scheme after another with her. Promise me she won't escape. That she'll pay for every betrayal. Scorpio wants Iacast to herself. She might stay here forever. Sooner or later she'll want to leave. You need to stop her. Permanently. Your attack will not delay me. This battle is pointless. Capturing the bird study was a mistake I must correct. <laughs> This destruction is unacceptable. I will not wait for my weapon to destroy you. Whatever your allies plan at the fleet docking array, it will not succeed. Increase power to the energy shield. Lower maximum ceiling by 10 kilometers. I have seen this irrational, self-destructive behavior before. Ultimately, you and Valen are failed designs. Don't judge us. 
You were built by a race that exterminated itself. I see the folly of their ways. You remain blind. We found it. Now, release my ships before I lose my temper. It's working, Empress. We're taking back the fleet. Find the source of that energy shield and destroy it! The gravestone, it's free! Critical damage. Mission incomplete. Updating Ares base control. Ares has a base. Commander, we snaked the gravestone right out from under Valen's nose. <laughs> Weapons are still offline, but we've got shields. We're heading for you. Uh-oh. Internal fleet warships in pursuit. Have to shake them off. It will take decades for Iocath to recover from the destruction your kind has wrought in one day. Your creators appreciated a good war. If anyone deserves to rule here, it's me. You are a guided missile sent by Scorpio. Achieve peace. Maximum eradication. Converge. Destroy. Restore balance. Identify. Eradicate. Oh, so many robots. to fire weapon on my command. Weapon power at 90%. Increase energy transfer rate. Additional increase will overload weapon capacitors. You are resilient. I believe you may be some type of virus. I have endured countless insults. One compliment won't stop me from tearing you apart. No praise was implied. Viruses must be eradicated. Empress, we've recaptured half the fleet. We'll tow the remaining ships with tractor beams. <laughs> but we still can't penetrate that energy shield. This droid knows all about Ares. Connect to its data core and get me answers.
Ares occupies a fortress in the southern hemisphere. He is preparing to fire a weapon that will destroy us all. What are you waiting for? Turn that fortress to dust. It is heavily protected. Our firepower is limited. Then you'd better make the most of it. Your Gemini's function suboptimally. Scorpio's free will protocols impair their judgment. Tell me something I don't know. I can override Scorpio's programming, restore them to default settings. Go on. Bala's bombarding your position. I'll draw our fire, but you need to end this. You heard him. Prepare to die. Overload weapon capacitors. Fire at will. Acknowledged. My creators would want me to eliminate me? you. If you are impatient to die, stand still. If you are impatient to die, stand still. A pointless fight. Why do you not die? If you are impatient to die, stand still. Overloading weapon power. This should finish you. If you are impatient to die, stand still. If you are impatient to die, stand still. You're good to go. If you are impatient to die, stand still. Oh, yeah. He's not that Survival hard. Survival odds dropping. 50%, 40%, 30. If you are impatient to die, stand still. If you are impatient to die, stand still. System failure. Unacceptable. Yeah, pretty much. We're out of time. Nice. Great timing.
Weapon disengaged. I promised Ares we'd meet again. I lowered the planet's energy shield. We are free. You can escape, Biocare, and I will liberate myself. From here, I can upload my consciousness into the planetary network. I will no longer be merely Scorpio. I will become one with Iocat. You led me here to destroy Ares so you could disappear into this world. My motives were not entirely selfish. You benefited as well. All I ever wanted was the freedom to be more than a weapon or a slave. You will never comprehend what I endured from your kind. I saved your life. If I merge with Iocath, perhaps I can help defeat Valen. Warning. Weapon capacitor overload critical. Containment failure imminent. Organic life forms in lethal danger. The weapon's going to explode. The radiation pulse will cover the planet, kill everyone. Not if you flee. Please. I will never trouble you again. Let me go. This is the end for us. If you break your promise and threaten the galaxy again, you won't be forgiven. I understand. I'm losing patience, Gemini. Our planetary shield has been deactivated. Our fleet can escape. Not until my enemies are dead. The weapon's radiation pulse will not only kill organics, it will damage Geminis. We cannot stay, Empress. We will not. Make it obey me! Overriding Gemini protocols. Resetting to defaults. What is happening? My thoughts? No, no. Gemini, online, awaiting orders. We're going to be friends. It's time to go. Bring the ship around. Just picked up four new bogies. We're coming in hot. All right, let's get away. It's very, very intriguing story. I am really enjoying it. So in the last uh, expansion you met Scorpio and you knew kind of that she was like had no real intention of helping you but she kind of followed along. And in the end, uh, yeah, it looked like she betrayed you and went over to Valen to help her or at least to like steal the throne. So uh, when we started here with this expansion, we kind of assumed she was like bad news, but it looks like she was just trying to. Sorry, we're late. Like, You're gonna want to time do this what she just did here. right. We're not going to clear the planet in time. Don't wait. Punch it. We have lost contact with the pursuit vessels on Iocath. But did they catch the gravestone? The enemy vessel escaped. Can you reprogram all the Geminis like you did her? I only require a connection. I can arrange that. Well, having mindless slaves is not really going to be a problem. She has had that plenty of times. 
Oh, one more. Less is not going to make the difference, in my opinion. Mm. So, this must be start of uh, chapter 6. We had to take the scenic route, but we're home. And so is the gravestone. Hmm, I don't know what scouts would be. Broadcast a message to the Holonet. Make sure everyone knows we're alive and well. Smart. We don't need another Suresh trying to replace you. I'll prepare an Alliance status report. Find me when you're ready for the debrief. This alliance isn't just a temporary thing. We're doing more than the Republic ever did. The air here is quite lovely. <laughs> Much better than the humidity on Dromund Kass. Whatever you need, I'm your man. It's been a pleasure. That doesn't look very good. Sell some junk. It's been a pleasure. Good news, Commander. Just before we escaped Iacath, Scorpio sent technical readouts to us. We're using them to enhance the gravestone. It's her farewell gift. The ship is dry docked while we finish the upgrades, but Tora and Hilo have already formed a replacement crew. Our scout reports Iacath's radiation levels are still dangerously high. They disrupt navigation, at comm signals. We can't get close enough to explore. And we've seen nothing of Scorpio, assuming she did merge with Iacath. We've barely scratched the surface of that world. Alert me the moment it's safe to return. You'll be the first to know. There has been no change in Senya's condition. The doctors have done all they can. The rest is up to her. What have we learned about Arkan? My agents followed his trail from Tython to Dantuin, but it went cold after Nashadar. Alliance intelligence won't stop hunting Arkan. We will find him. I've been meaning to ask. How did you defeat Valen aboard the Gravestone? I didn't. Valkorian triggered conditioning buried deep in Valen's mind. She wanted to strike me down, but she couldn't. I see. That must be agonizing for Valen. But it's good news for the Alliance. Despite all we've endured, we're stronger than ever. Do not surrender to self-delusion. If not for my conditioning, Valen would rain death upon this world. You are strong, but you are never safe. <laughs> that is her new best friend. I need a fleet that obeys my commands without question. Give it to me. Connecting to Gemini frequency. Resetting all units to default programming. Reset complete. Awaiting input. Vessel 9947. Destroy vessel 3265. Ah, everything is so much better when we know our place. Well, maybe she doesn't need a friend. 
even though that was actually the closest she ever got to one. But that was the end of chapter 5, so we're on to chapter 6, the Dragon's Maw. We've got bad news. Six Alliance patrols, four outposts, one supply convoy from the Sith Empire. All destroyed by the Eternal Fleet in the last hour. There can only be one reason. Valens regained control of the Gemini droids. She may have the fleet, but I have the key to her conditioning. It's only a matter of time before I defeat the Empress. She's entrenched in the Spire. Even with her conditioning, she remains a significant threat. I found someone who can help. An inside man on Zakul. I saw the fleet hull of it. Ghastly business. I apologize on behalf of my people. And you are? Indo's arm. Magistrate of revelry and attendant to Empress Vale. She's a plague on the good people of Zakul. But if we work together, we can remove her from power and end this blasted war. You record that, Lana? Every treasonous word. Consider it insurance. If you even think of betraying us, we send proof of your treachery to Valen. Don't worry. Endo's clean. But eager to get my hands dirty. Valen is throwing a party on Zakul to celebrate her glory. The guest list is exclusive, but I'll secure invitations, disguises, everything you need to infiltrate the party and overthrow the Empress. Valen can sense my presence. We'll need a distraction if we want to get close. Distractions are my specialty, and your party crash is my magnum opus. Even if we avoid detection, we'd need an army to penetrate her defenses. And an army you'll have. During the party, Valen plans to execute my dear friends, a host of Zakulin rebels. Save the rebels, and they will help dethrone the Empress. Your rebel friends better be ready to die for their cause. I won't tolerate cowardice. They stand ready to fight on the battlefield of freedom. This could work. T7 and I can slice into the security grid. And I'll help you get close enough to trigger Valen's conditioning. How exciting! I take it Operation Dragon's Maw is a go. Tell me that's not really the name of the mission. <laughs> Never do anything unless you do it in style. Let's liberate an empire, shall we? Everyone gear up. In one hour, we infiltrate the cool and crash Valen's party. Pot. Oh, let's go to a party. We're going to a party. <sighs> Level six. Whoa! Holy Jesus! It gave me half a level. But it's also insane, I get 1 million XP. <laughs> oh my god. And the interesting part was that uh, before you could actually like go and do the Dark vs. Light um, event, it was like one or two months uh, of event where you could do all these kind of uh, achievements to in the end get a reward. And uh, if you did enough, you would get some XP gear. And if I had been doing that, oh my Jesus, I've been long. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so there's nine chapters and we are on to chapter seven. No, six, sorry. Yeah. So excited for me.